Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. I hold my hands up, hands up, and hand, hands up. Hands up, yes, suddenly we all got our hands up. No control of my body. Yo, who's the dork flailing around? I am sorry. Motherfuckers, I'm your host, The Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. The fuck? <clears throat> well, after a month of recharging my batteries, it's good to be back. You know who else could use a month off? Melania! What the fuck is wrong with you, Stim? That shit wasn't even fucking funny. Like, at all. Yeah, no shit, agitator. Who the fuck is writing the script? It's like those motherfuckers at Submedia spent their whole vacation watching Jimmy Fallon. <clears throat> and don't get me started on those charges against Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Or should I say, Michael Colon? Dude, you're fucking dying out there. Yo, that wasn't even one of mine. Smells like one of yours, you rancid fuck. Fuck this shit, I can't work like this. Finally, my time to shine. Rise and shine, motherfucker. The simulator, and this is the freaking news. Oh fuck no! This is some fake new shit. Fake stim. Fake stim. Fake stim. Oh hello, my name is Dick Vomit Esquire. As an executive producer for Submedia Presents the Fucking News, I want to personally assure you that we have the situation well in the hand. After a respectful talk with our internet news show presenter, The Stimulator, we at some media have made a decision that the fucking news will be put on a temporary hiatus, effective immediately. It's clear that the show has become, how do you say, uh, stale, eh? Like uh, last night's taco or a fart in the sack. And as we all know, a fart in the sack is only funny when it's fresh and surprising. <laughs> <laughs> in the bleak digital hellscape of today, people's attention spans have been totally annihilated by the hypnotic spectacle of never-ending doom and imminent social and ecological collapse. It's everywhere, folks! <laughs> There's no escape! And us at some media, we know full well that only the cutting-edge uh, clickbaits and video memes will get us the Facebook shares and YouTube views that we desperately need to trick the algorithms. So in the coming weeks, we'll be putting our time and energy into repackaging the fucking news into a new and improved digital product for your viewing pleasure. And to do so, we will be reaching out to you for your free ideas and feedback. But don't despair, Steve will be back soon. Eh? Eh? In the meantime, stay tuned for new episodes of Trouble starting this September. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs>